we're gonna show you the way it really is folks we have started uh, the remodel of the Fleetwood flare the 99 Fleetwood flare last night we took the bedroom out and we're just showing it like it is this had to come out because we we're putting in a new bed and it wouldn't fit without removing the old bed and the cabinetry. And today we're having the roof worked on. And we'll go up and have a look at the roof. I'll show you why. But before we go inside, it's a 14 inch gel hybrid mattress, two of these twin XLs with a bed frame floor jack is not part of the bed system but those two bed frames are 300 pounds a piece i think they felt like it anyway i changed the uh walk as you can see and uh here you can see that we have the cabinetry the sleep number bed that's coming out removing that one we have drawers uh, some of these oak shelves or the cabinetry the doors and mirrors might be of some use to somebody with a 99 Fleetwood flare 34 D is the model and that came out of this room main battery's not on at the moment and this is a Ten and a half. Let me paste it off here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe it's ten foot by eight now. Main bedroom. We're gonna put these beds in with the heads at the rear of the RV, and. Uh, I can see there's a hole all the way through where one of the screws came out. That's interesting. Very good. So this is our bedroom. We're gonna put the two twin XL beds in here and there ought to be about 18 inches between the beds. And we can push them together if we want to. We're gonna try, see the best way that we, the way we like it. See that, that what we like best. So I might as well give you a tour of the bathroom. Um, there's our nomadic toilet, as I learned from uh, Bob Wells. I'm not gonna be using the black tank. Um, we do have the, this might be of some interest to people with leaks on this RV roof does leak as you can see from the stains here and uh, I took this vent out to see what the construction was and there's very thin paneling on the other side of the styrofoam here and this has been fairly wet so I would like opinions suggestions uh, we're having the RV mobile service guy come today and seal the roof he thinks it can be salvaged this is a 12 foot slide inside to inside wall we're going to keep the old style tv for now and we've got a another flat screen down there we'll put in somewhere but uh let's go look at the engine compartment it does have a v10 triton and if someone that knows could tell me whether or not this Banks Ram Air means I have a Banks Power Pack on this V10, if anybody knows. I'll try to give you a shot of the engine here. I don't know if I can lift the doghouse. Probably not. No, we'll do that later. 68,800 miles approximately. And starts up well and uh, generator works. V10 
5500 Onan. Doesn't start without having it enabled from the inside. That's reassuring. 5500 watt Onan marquee. Model 5.5 BGM FA26105H. Seems to work well. Exhaust system. Part of the bank's power pack is a, I think, a four inch exhaust system. I think that's what I have here. You can see the headers here. It rained last night here. Wet. Let's go up on the roof. <laughs> 